Wow, here we are. <laughs> wow. What do you think, Dave? Just soaking it in. Soaking in the beautiful painting. Sunday afternoon. The beautiful art. Wow. Hey, everybody. What's up? We're here at the Art Institute taking in lovely art and culture on this Sunday afternoon. Welcome to night slash day number... 24 of our virtual tour extravaganza adventure around the world and beyond. Chicago Sundays. Chicago Sundays. As always, we are back in a place of great beauty. This is a famous painting. This is a famous know. painting. I'll read the title. A Sunday afternoon on the island of La Grande Chatte. Le Grand Jatte, by sure. Surat. A Sunday afternoon. Yes, here we are. Swain, do you want to do a, the zoomed out yes. spot? Aww. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Oh, Bigger than you thought, perhaps. It is uh, quite a large, quite a large piece of art. It's, it's one of the most famous pieces at the Art Institute of Chicago Sundays. Art Institute of Chicago Sundays. Yes. Um, Cool. Thanks so much for tuning in. We are very excited. Is it not working? Okay. Cool. Um, <laughs> Swain's mysteriously tapping the mic and twisting knobs. I don't. I don't I know. I was what turning that my microphone down. So no People want watch. you to turn it up. So no up. one needs to hear me breathing. Everyone in the chat was like, "Is Sean gonna have a mic tonight? Yeah. You better have a mic tonight." Blah, blah. So. I got Marcus. Yeah, we mic'd up Sean extra mic'd tonight. <laughs> Just so don't worry. It's all good. Um, excellent. Yes, so we are here in the beautiful museum, socially distanced. We were one of very few people allowed in the Art Institute on this Sunday afternoon. Kind of like the trial run. Trial. Uh, we're part of it. The beta test of the Art Institute. The reboot. Um, anyways, yeah, so we're. I'm so stoked for today. We're going to play some songs that we love. And we're going to have a very special guest, Chris and Carrie from the amazing Bad Bad Hats will be with us in a few minutes and um, we're going to do some other stuff too sick, cool um, yes I'm looking at my notes here yes, special guest, old favorites Lil Dave, perhaps we'll see um, excellent, let's play, let's play a song how are the people doing? How are you guys doing? I hope yeah. I hope the chat's everyone doing great. Have, let us know in the chat how you're doing in as good of as as most detail as you can provide. This is our time to check in every week. <laughs> yes, this is our weekly check in. We want to make sure you guys are doing okay. Everyone seems to be saying that they're doing good. Good spirits. It's oh. good. They're well, excited for Bad Bad Hats. This might be one of our most anticipated guests of all time. Bad People bad are stoked. Oh, dude, fuck yeah. Bad Bad Hats is like seriously one of my favorite bands. I think I could speak for all of us. Yeah. We are just... And favorite people. Smitten. Yes, they're such a great band. Great people. <laughs> and we got some... I got, I got some exciting stuff planned for our chat with them. A possum in the chat says they are good band. Good band. They so... Are good band. They are a good band. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Okay. Certified. You heard certified, it here first. Certified good band. Um, cool. We are going to do a couple covers real quick. And then an original. And then <laughs> we got covers. We also got originals, baby. Okay. We got so many original songs. We're going to play a song by another certified good band called uh, Heartless Bastards. I don't know if you guys ever listen to that band. They're really good. I sing this song a lot just by myself whenever I'm feeling uh, feeling some type of way. Ready? Let's do it. Oh, wait. I want to get the lyrics just to make sure I don't fuck it up. Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> I don't even really need these lyrics, but it's fine.
loves Blake's. Amazing. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Dobby was, uh, Lay Dobby was uh, <laughs> checking Dobby. out the art. Lay Dobby. Dobby, <laughs> Marcus, check out Dobby. He is feeling very artsy today. Yes. He dressed up <laughs> for our excursion to the museum. So yes. We told him, we're like, Dobby, you better clean your sack before we go to the museum, okay? <laughs> you better, you oh, better, no. better wash your hands, <laughs> Dobby. Only. Oh, oh, oh. ah. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> People Woo-hoo. in the chat. We're very confused. <laughs> we hanging. We out here. Uh, cool. We're gonna do a song from our. Uh, or do you want to do the next? Let's do the next lap steel song. Cover. Let's do cover. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Um. One more cover before we before we move on to the next thing, and then we'll do the next thing after that. Yeah. Marcus, oh, this Can is great, actually. Marcus? We have a room mic again. The room mic is pretty <coughs> subtle. But I think you can hear Marcus. Marcus, right? yell. Ah! <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yo, right, you can song, you can keep track of our Instagram live got five feed. Watchers, right? Woo! All right, you five people. You are seeing the trippiest thing ever because you're seeing the behind the scenes of the stream. But you should go to Twitch (laughs) where it's really all happening. We lost them. (laughs) Did we lose them all? That's fine. I'll just keep yelling. Sweet. Um, Oh, I guess Dave's just pouring his coffee. Um, They let me bring coffee in the Art Institute. mm Mm-hmm. I did want to mention one thing Splash that's happened since last board. week. Remember how we did that game last week where we drew the characters? That was so fun. Um, we drew Tommy Pickles, and that inspired me to watch Rugrats again. The whole thing's on Hulu. All of it. Yeah, I, and I started watching some last night after you were. Holy shit. That great. show is amazing. Like, I just didn't fully appreciate how, like well done it is because not only does mark bunderspaw obviously do the the like you know the theme song but he does all the music and the music is pretty out it's there. pretty out there like it's really i remember what it's extremely he, like atmospheric and I think strange he uses a bunch of samplers because at one point there was an instrument that just sounded like yeah it's it's weird (laughs) and like this shot selection in that show is so cool like they were doing shots like from like chucky sneezed and like the camera like started in his nose and like came out really fast i don't know just like weird shit anyways that show rules so if you have hulu highly recommend some (laughs) regrets all right we're gonna do a self-indulgent cover because i love this song and i play it a lot again just when i'm alone Makes me feel better about life for some reason. Uh, This song is track one from the album Everything That Happens Will Happen Today by David Byrne and Brian Eno. And it's called Home. And it's awesome.
that song i love that song because it just keeps like spinning on uh, top of itself the, the melody is so like spinning in the yarn it just spins and spins and spins ay 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 people were very excited, um, people were very excited in the chat about <laughs> that song being played Sick. they cannot believe that we exist on the same planet as brian eno right and David Byrne. And right. That's what Chris Tucker says in the chat. Hell yeah. Insane. Oh, Chris. I feel like I feel like all of us. That is one thing I'm really excited about, you guys. I mentioned last week that we've been um, working on like building out this Patreon page that we're gonna launch, and we're really excited because it's kind of just like a place where we can do a lot of other like creative things <laughs> that we don't really otherwise know how to like put out on the internet. But one of the things that we were brainstorming is that it would be really cool we've started a discord server so we could have like listening parties basically on discord we could like pick a record just a favorite record or we could vote we could have like a poll and i'll vote on a record and listen to it together and just like i don't know hang out and talk about music we also made a playlist i just worked on sequencing it last night that's like two hours long of a bunch of music that we've been listening to uh some of it's pretty out there <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if if you guys I mean, want we're that. Pretty out there. We're pretty out there. Dave, show the show the crowd uh yeah. Tell us about your tiny hat. Oh well <laughs> it's on I I decided to match the lady in the painting. So <laughs> um we got we got them from oh after the Derby episode you wore your tiny hat. Yeah, this is a great time to shout out. On the Derby episode I said I love wearing my tiny hat. I wish I had a tiny hat for every day of the week. And Mike P and Bree, our ultimate homies, mailed me a six pack of tiny hats. So now I have seven tiny hats and we're good to go. So every day I wake up, I put on my tiny hat, I go about my business. I'm gonna get a capo. Little hat for big oh, day. Little hat for big day. Oh yeah. They wanna hear you talk, Dave. Yeah, Dave. Someone says Someone give Dave a mic. They want to hear what you have to say, Dave. I think uh, I'm going to fill you in on um, <laughs> Little Dave later okay. on. Yeah, people were asking for a Little Dave update, so that would be We got that ready to go. Maybe we awesome. should do that now really quick before we play this uh, last song before we get Bad Bad Hats. Yeah. Okay, so Let's do it. We, we do not have Little Dave here in the Art Institute Little because outside bound. Little Dave is has grown to the point where he does not like to be picked up. That's how people are too, you know? Once you get to a certain age, That's true. you're get you get too big, too old. I don't to like be, to be picked to up be anymore. Picked up. Lil Dave has firmly said, "No. I, I belong on the ground." So, we took a picture. Do you, do you see that there, Sean? Yeah. Ready? 
Uh, here, Dave, tell us about this picture of you and little Dave. This is from yesterday. Oh, well, every day <laughs> I, uh, I wake up and I have my coffee and um, sit outside for a few moments and uh, visually inspect for any sort of bugs or other uh, creatures that unwanted pests of little Dave. And, um, yeah, pretty much just watching and waiting at this point. But, yeah, it's been very nice outside, so, so I sit in the back. This, this is a picture you took of little Dave because we can't bring little Dave inside, so this is... Are you showing it? Yes. You get to uh, you can see, the see his true size. The chat is very, very impressed at your horticulture skills, Dave. Oh, Someone said, Jesus Christ, in all capital letters. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> this is probably the hobby that I've picked up that I've invested the least money in, actually. Nice. Yeah. Someone's someone's also getting a little emotional and said they grow up so fast. They do. Which they do. I know you feel that way, too. Yeah. I watched you, know, you watch all your plants all summer. It's like, um, yeah, you know, soon enough they're going to pack up and get be out of the house. And then, and then what are we left to do? And you just smoke them. Smoke them if you got them. It is, yes. <laughs> so it was in like one of those mop buckets, like a Home Depot bucket. And uh, little Dave outgrew the five gallon bucket. And they didn't have any 10 gallon buckets. So I bought a trash can. So little Dave <laughs> is where he belongs in the trash can. Thank you, for Thank you Dave. Um, I'm working on something, you guys. A Lil Dave video, basically consolidating all of the Weed Sprout updates edited together into one retrospective video of Lil Dave. So keep an eye out for that. So, okay, we're going to play a song. Not to be cheesy, because, you know, I don't know if there are kids watching, whatever, but uh, smoking weed is pretty harmless, I feel like. And this next song we're about to play, uh, I wrote, like, right after the first time that I ever tried it. Um, and it's almost it's an ten years old. Old favorite, perhaps. It's an old favorite of mine. I don't know about you guys. This is kind of a deep cut. But, uh, anyways, this song's free to download on Bandcamp if you're so inclined. And then we're gonna go bed, bed, hats. Anyways, this one goes out to Lil Dave and Lil Jules, who was in that picture, who is kind of on a whole different growth trajectory. We could tell you guys about her some other time. Yeah, Lil, Lil Jules can still come inside. Lil Jules can still come inside. Maybe we'll bring her in someday. Come into the Art Institute. Ready? Yep. This song's called Intense Judgment. One, two, three, four. That room mic. I know it's sad when friendships die away. But it happens to everyone every day. you can reach of your skin you give me such an impression I surrender you
2010 and my brother was in Mexico and I followed you up and then down in the land of the Cherokee and you told me a story of a woman Oh, she was tortured so badly, so badly, so badly, so badly. Magically turn my eyes into microscopes. And I use these new powers to cross section tiny seeds and die in We were located atop a tunnel above. Interstate 64 We silently let all the cars pass And one honked its horn Oh, it honked its horn It honked its horn out to you little Dave we love you we're so proud of you wow. <laughs> okay let's get some it is time to call our special guests y'all I am so excited I know you're excited too in the chat to have our dear friends bad bad hats I don't know if they're about to pick up but they have a YouTube Woo! series a live series island in the live stream oh! Oh. <laughs> there they are oh what's up <laughs> what is up guys? gotta scooch over oh Julia, yo you could actually go back to where you were oh back to where sorry. i was that was my bad sorry we're configuring around you we're we're bordering you on the side <laughs> hello <laughs> hello <laughs> perfect yo how is it going guys welcome to the show thank you so much for having us we're doing well thank you You're doing good excellent i um carrie by the way Happy yes. early birthday. Tomorrow, I, I know. Say, big day. I was about to say, this is my last day of my 20s. And oh. I can't be spending it anywhere else than right here. Perfect. Dude, oh. that is so crazy. I was curious. I was just wondering, what's your, like, vibe on your birthday? I know there's a lot of people with, like, different attitudes. Some people are just, like, like they're afraid of the attention. They don't want it. Some people crave it. They love it. They love their birthday. What's yeah. your vibe? I feel like 
I feel like mostly because I am a bit of a ham. I do like <laughs> some of <laughs> I enjoy, uh, I think because awesome I like them, um, uh, words of affirmation. Maybe, yes. I do yeah. like, uh, I like it in the cards. Uh, uh, I like, you know, being reminded of all the friends and I have in the world, you know, because the birthday is a good time for people to kind of come out of the woodwork and be like, Oh, like we were in second grade together. Happy birthday. And you're like, that's nice. That's nice. But I think as I've gotten older, though, I do think that sometimes I, uh, if I put too much pressure on like a party or something, then I feel a little sad. Totally. So it's a balance. Absolutely. Yeah. I feel like it's all about just like, for me, I just love following all my whims. Yes. Yes. You know, you, got, you earned it. Yep. Exactly. Just let, let, you know, whatever sparks joy. Let it lead you. Julia, some people are asking you uh, down in front if you could. Uh, you told me to move. I know. I'm sorry. Where? Which sorry, way? Sorry. Uh, to your left a little bit. Okay. Sorry. I, you guys, I'm oblivious. You're I cannot great. see the screen. I didn't notice until just then. Okay. Here, here. Chris, yeah, cuddle yeah, together. Is this better? Yes. Am I better, you yes. guys? Sorry. I'm really not trying to force anyone to see more of my <laughs> big head than they need. Damn. So do you guys have any plans for tomorrow? Um, well, we do have um, mostly food plans because I do like holidays to revolve yes. around food. So we're going to be attempting to make some steaks mm -hmm. and a leaf quiche. That's Yum. Fun. No, right? Yeah, fancy. That sounds fabulous. Thank you. And we bought some, we bought some champagne. My mom insists on the good stuff. So we got some champagne. Uh, I'm excited. Heck yeah. Cool. My brother has this thing on birthdays where he like over the year subscribes to as many, you know how businesses sometimes do like, come get a free donut on your oh, birthday. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. He just signs up to like dozens of those. And then on his birthday, just like goes around town collecting all of his free things. <laughs> nice. Amazing. I like that. It's like a little like scavenger hunt. Yeah, good <laughs> shit. Cool. Dude, I wanted to ask you guys, for anyone in the chat, I didn't really have time to do an adequate intro, but, so Bad Bad Hats, you guys have been doing your YouTube live stream weekly this entire yeah. quarantine. It's called Islands and Livestream. You guys play, like, a themed cover show. Themed exactly. show of covers each week. Yeah. Plus yeah. some of your own songs. Yeah, we try in. to slip in. We try to slip in, you know. So our, show. Like it's a, it's really good. I, I love, I don't know, it's fun because it's like, since it's a theme, you can kind of try to guess what you're going to play each week. Right. And so it's like, it gives you an extra reason to tune in because you nice. don't know. Also, Thank you. the covers are nice. Yeah. When, how, how like, how soon into the quarantine did you guys decide to do that? Or did, did that idea kind of come up pretty naturally, like right away? yeah i guess we did uh we did our first stream on a tour because yeah. we were like still on tour when it happened mm -hmm. and everything happened yeah and that just went really well and then i guess carrie had the idea for like the themes and the we yeah, because i figure we because yeah so we did like a stream for our hotel room and that was really fun and then we got home and i thought it would be nice to do theme shows because i did quickly realize our songs are pretty short and we don't have that many of them. So I was a little concerned that we wouldn't have enough material. And also it sounded fun to learn some covers. And um, it's been really fun for me too, because it's like, um, it might sound silly, but like, that's how I like learned to play guitar when I was younger, was just playing a bunch of covers. So I feel like I'm tapping into like uh, young Carrie. Uh, and you know, it's like, oh, I don't play totally. this chord very often. Like, like yeah, that's like, oh, hello, A minor yeah, 7. We're back, what are you on, we're back on ultimateguitar.com. <laughs> exactly. <every day>. Ah, <laughs> that's so sick. It's also, I feel like it's cool to learn when you find out that some of your favorite songs are, like, really easy to play. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's awesome. It's like, this is just four chords. Like, I could play this all the time. I don't know. Well, yeah, and I think that, like, to me also speaks to how, uh, uh, you know, as, like, a songwriter, you do realize how a lot of hits are the really simple songs yeah like bread and butter exactly oh it's so good i uh <laughs> i feel like learning covers is kind of like once you get in the groove with it you you kind of figure out like i don't know how songs work more and so do you, do you guys find that it's gotten easier as the show has gone on to like to learn the songs that you're choosing i think so right yeah i think so we definitely <laughs> We used to start on like Tuesday, you know, the show's on Saturday. We would start like Tuesday afternoon. Yeah. 
<laughs> and now sometimes it's like Friday. They're like, you Thursday. got this. Yeah, no we, problem. No problem. Some of the themes, though, like we did an 80s week, and I think that one we kind of realized how many of those songs are very drum driven. Yeah. We just are yeah. playing two guitars. So uh, some of them, some weeks were like, oh, wait, like there's not actually that much happening in yeah. the song. Yeah. But feel it's been pretty good. That's dope. Yeah, yeah we, uh, Last fall, Dave and I played in this band. We, like, formed a band with a couple of our friends to play at our friend's wedding. And I oh, swear, we-, we learned 19 covers, full <laughs> band. It was super fun, but it was also, like, yeah, it was it was, it was really hard. Like, yeah. Nothing getting into you, you, Yeah, you stretch your brain, your musical brain. I also want to say this. I was just curious if you guys find this to be true. My philosophy is that... The hardest part of learning covers is just figuring out how it starts and how it ends. Everything in the middle is kind of fine, you but keep going. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta nail that beginning. You gotta nail the end. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, yeah, especially when you're doing covers like at a wedding, and you know it's like that, those few first seconds when people are like, "They're crucial." I know this song. And they're like, "Woo! Gotta get to the dance." Come to the dance floor, baby. <laughs> get over here. We uh we got some questions in the chat. Uh, a possum wants to know, can a bad, bad hat be so bad that it's actually good? You know, that is an interesting question, right? Because is it, is it double, yeah, neg- double. Neg- yeah. negativing it's itself really negative. in the bad, bad hat? I would say yes. Probably. I don't know. I'm not a mathematician, but it makes sense to me. <laughs> they also want to know, what's the worst kind of hat style? So this is tough because I think... And best. I, mean, I don't. I like all kinds of hats. I think there's a lot to be said for different kinds of hats. But I mean, I think traditionally people would say the fedora <laughs> comes up often as a maligned hat variety. Fedora is having a tough. Day. Yeah, it's just. But I think it might be on the up and up. It's coming back around. People, Carrie, people were on the fedoras in the chat. They were asking yes. about them. I wanted to <laughs> ask you specifically. No, they were just curious about your thoughts. So you were out ahead of the question. It Carrie, I noticed yesterday on your stream, it was very subtle, but I noticed you talked about Chopped. Yeah. Do you watch Chopped Junior ever? So I have not. I've been, I got very... Chopped always used to be my show that I would put on, like when we had cable, which you don't anymore. But that was like my show that I put on, like in the background. I could like play guitar and write songs. But oh. I stopped watching it. But then in quarantine, I was like, I need something soothing to me, you know, like a bowl of soup <laughs> as a show. And Chopped came back for me. So I've been watching a lot of Chopped, but I haven't actually watched Chopped Junior. Are you watching? Are you watching it on Hulu? Yes. Yeah, dude. They have Chop Junior on Hulu. The reason that came to my mind is because fedoras. There's always one kid in every episode <laughs> wearing a fedora. And that kid usually is really bad at cooking. But it's really funny to watch. <laughs> it's a telltale sign. Exactly. They got too much swag, too much confidence. But so many children could cook. Dude, some of them are really, really good. And I'm just like, this sucks. I'm like 28 years old and I can't I can't fucking it's roast terrible. anything. Yeah. But uh, I really do love Chapped. And I think if there was a Chapped that, you know, the competition was like eight hours long, then I think I could I think I could be a part of it. <laughs> yeah, right. If you had all day. <laughs> that sounds great. Just do an indie rock chop. Indie chopped. <laughs> That's a great idea. That would be good. I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> Just today I have What's going on oh, in the chat, I, we Sean? We think they. We think uh, everyone are. It froze a little bit. Oh, the Sorry. camera froze. <laughs> One second. That's okay. Um, are you guys still there? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So while I figure this out, I think your screen just froze. But oh. um, at least we look happy. Yeah, you do. <laughs> look, this is kind of strange. Yeah, you guys look great. Just that's how we'll remember you. Right our, our, remember our friend Chris in the chat wants to know what's your favorite cover that you've played at a show. Ooh, good question. Well, so I think what is true before we started doing these like our islands and live stream stream, we actually didn't play that many covers. Right. Like live though we did play um for a long time i've done all the small things cover that i enjoy doing um kind of uh sort of in a ballad way it's a ballad version of all the yes 
cool. That's been nice. And uh, but I think on as a live stream, we really enjoy doing. Um, this week we did larger than life by the Backstreet Boys. Yes. And that was pretty. That felt pretty good. <laughs> that blew my fucking mind. I was <laughs> dancing alone. Dave was just ignoring me. Oh, no. I was I was going crazy. <laughs> I did you say that's the first CD that you bought with your own money? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Dude, that's so sick. I have a distinct memory of being at the grocery store in the cart. I guess I would have been like small enough to be in the cart. And oh. I had like just bought, you know, a Walkman or well, I didn't buy it. Someone got it for me. That's like Walkman. Like listening to that CD on my Walkman in the grocery cart feeling like Oh yeah. This is the coolest shit I've ever heard in my life. Oh, absolutely. I like, just I was my C D collection was everything to me at that point. And that's I so did. dope. And how do you I, feel about CDs nowadays? How do I feel about them? Yeah. Do you still well, buy them from time to time? I used to buy them like yeah. a couple years ago, kind of just without knowing what it was at all. Just taking like a $5 one and going nice. for it. Yeah. But. It kind of, it, I feel like we got a resurgence of interest in CDs on tour because we have a CD player in the van. So nice. it's like a fun way to, you know, like we're, you're killing time for the show and you find a record store and it was fun to, like Chris said, to buy like a, a, couple five dollar ucds and play them that's so <laughs> sick yeah i feel like i've noticed on tour that a lot of people and just in general like discourse about music people are like cds cds are obsolete man it's the that's the past yeah. you're back oh, wow. you got, oh, we excellent. fixed that <laughs> sorry yeah. about that okay good I don't know what happened, but the chat was very concerned about your health because it just <laughs> it just went to black. <laughs> I just want to say I stand CDs still. Yeah. Twenty twenty. And I like that CDs. I, I honestly didn't know What's wrong? when we were making, uh, like when our first album came out and it was time to decide to print CDs or vinyl. I was like, and we hadn't really toured that much, so we didn't know if anyone would buy them. And I was so glad to find out that people were interested in buying CDs and vinyl. So that's nice. That's so dope. As like <laughs> children of the 90s, early 2000s, knowing someone that is listening to, you know, our music on that format, it's full circle. Oh, thing. yeah. It feels good. It's good shit. Good shit. I wanted, <laughs> dude, I wanted to do a segment within the special guest segment that we've never tried before. Oh. This is yeah. very, well, it's actually. It's not even the thing that I briefed you guys on before. It's something else. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I promise this is very, it's very simple. So, okay. have you guys ever seen that show Hot Ones? Oh. oh, no, but I think I know what it is. It's on YouTube. It's like this dude has celebrities oh, yes. come in and like eat really hot chicken wings. Oh, it's yeah, just like yes. an interview show. But they do a segment on that show called Explain That Gram, where they go like deep into the person's Instagram and find a picture and ask them to like explain it. Okay. And I found a picture on your Instagram that I do want you to explain, just because I am amazed that it exists. Sean, it should be, you found it? All right. Can you, you guys can't see this, but it is a picture of you shredding at the Twins game. Oh, yeah. Dude, how and what and how did you feel? So thank you um, for noticing that. It was pretty great. So but sick. I forget. I think we just got like, as all as all great things in the music business, you you try and try and try, and then just one day you just get an email that's like, Hey, do you hey, want to do, do this? <laughs> yes. And you're like, Oh, sure. So I think we just got an email from someone that was just like, they did, I guess they were having um for whatever season that was, it was like on Thursdays or something. It was like local band Thursday. Yeah. And Woo. they had local bands play on like a little balcony, um, and it was. Pretty cool. It was cool. There was like free hot dogs and stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were not paid for the show, which no. seems a little like I feel like where's I feel like the MLB probably had some money, <laughs> but that's fine. But they it was a pretty great experience and they did give us free hot dogs and like a large spread in the green room. Oh and we got a free bucket that says the twins on <laughs> that we Fuck use as a yeah. trash can in our van. <laughs> so that we think of it often. But it was kinda it weird because we didn't actually play a full set. We were, like, playing in between. Like, yeah, like snippets, after. right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they'd be, like, <laughs> there was, like, a radio, and they'd be, like, all right, you have five seconds to wrap it up. So you'd just be, like. And then the song's over. Yeah, it's just, like, ending in, like, the worst possible place. But 
So you guys were, it was full band. It was like your own music, full band. That's so sick. Mm -hmm. But it was awesome. I would would do it again. Were you on the Jumbotron? Yes. Oh! There was actually a rain delay, so we got like 30 (laughs) minutes of screen time. Yeah, we got more time because they just needed to fill in the gap because as everyone was playing for the rain. The chat wants to know if at the beginning of the game you played the national anthem. (laughs) <laughs> and did a Jimi Hendrix kind of style. No, they did not ask us more. It was probably for the best. I'm like, if I don't think I could, I don't think I could sing the national anthem. To be it's honest. hard. Like, that song fucking yeah. sucks, man. Yeah. It's too hard. So I'm glad that I was not requested to do that. But we did our own thing. Did Did you do uh, Take Me Out to the Ball Game? I I was about to say no, but then I think at some point they did. You know, like they get got everyone to be like, you know, whatever when it's like the ninth inning stretch or whatever. Yeah. But I can't remember if we were out there. We probably stuff in our face with hot dogs. At that point. Classic. <laughs> That's so sick. Wow. I, I just think that picture is the most pure, lovely thing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Truly good yeah. shit. You can you can probably tell that we're pretty excited. Heck yeah. Is there any what else? What's going on in the chat? They Should are- we? They're just having a blast. Oh, just they, having a blast. They did have some questions. They were a little bit random, so I didn't want to just pop in with them. But our chat has a little bit of a history with some questions that they ask our guests. And one of them is, what is your favorite volcano? Wow. Um, good question. Oh, this, is, this is a make it or break it kind of thing <laughs> with our this fan is the best. This is reminding me of the time we did trivia with our friends and one of these sections was all about mountain ranges and my friend was like oh I got this and she knew like every single mountain range and I was like oh yeah I totally know about all those mountain ranges but then the next section was all about songs on now that's what I call music volume one and I was like okay now it's my time to share <laughs> That's the that's the important part of a good trivia team. Yeah. I mean, it was good. We balanced each other out. You've got to have say, different different areas of expertise. Yeah. I think in geographical areas of expertise. So I think my favorite volcano is, you know, probably the last one that went. That that's blew my, up? Yeah. You know, in Mount St. Helens, the one that's like. Yeah, near. In Washington. Yeah. Dude, yeah. yeah. That one comes up pretty often. I think we're all kind of scared of that one. Yeah. I mean, people died, man. Yeah, I know. And it's like ready to it's go. It's ready again. to blow again. Yeah. It Fuck. is. Yeah. Nature is beautiful and terrible. I know. Yes. I feel like, yeah, we're due for some sort of natural disaster now that all of these man made disasters have right. just been <laughs> consuming our lives. Marcus said we talk about Mount St. Helens every week, <laughs> which is just a very weird thing. Yo, yeah. we are fixated <laughs> on Mount St. Helens. This is under the geology we love it. Twitch. It's fucking crazy. Okay, um, are you guys, are you in the mood to play a song? Or should we do, should we not? Yep. Do you want to? We can play a song. I, I would love it if you if you would. I feel like this is, go- this is going, I think this is a nice compliment to the song that you played. Yes, I was thinking that. It'd be nice to have, <laughs> to have the other side of the coin. I thought so. So um, I... For some reason, for no for no real reason, but I have never like um, I too like Davi, um, and eight hundred years old, and my lungs are shriveled, so I've never smoked weed, uh, and I've never got my ears pierced. That's just me. That's kind of what I'm about. So I wrote the song about that, and it's called "Nothing Gets Me High." <laughs> Yeah, just right. Now you're here in my back in the living 
Thank you for playing that. Dude, Thank you. I have such a happy memory of us like rolling up in Minneapolis right before our show that we got to play oh, with yeah. you guys last December, listening to that song and you're like coming down first avenue. I was like, <laughs> "Oh my god. That's where we're going." It's so uh that was such a fun night, dude. That was amazing. My mom, I guess my mom's been in the crowd uh maybe like a couple like two times when we've sung that song. Um, at First Avenue, and nice. it's like her favorite thing in the world. She's like, "You sing First Avenue, and the people cheer." And I'm like, exactly. "The people go wild." <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's so freaking dope, man. It's crazy to think back to that show. Just like, I'm sure. I mean, why would we? But none of us were really cherishing every moment because we all, none of us knew that we weren't gonna have that many shows left to play for the next yeah. year or whatever. So it is like. Yeah, the the very last show we played before we came home, and we were just, at that point, we were, like, very freaked out. So it was, like, especially, like, not a not a savor, savoring show. Totally. <laughs> and uh, But even then, we, like, didn't, even though we were, like, super freaked out, I still didn't realize that it was going to be the last one. Totally. Where Yeah, where were you guys when shit kind of fell apart? We were, so we were just doing like an East Coast tour and the first half of the tour, it kind of wasn't too eerie yet. We played, we had a great show in Madison and a great show in Milwaukee and a great show in Detroit and Toronto was great. And then it was, but after Toronto, we, yeah, drove back over the border and it was like, uh-oh. Yeah, we were in Pittsburgh when the <laughs> yeah. NBA shut down. Yeah. Kind of like, Damn. That's yeah, far so, from yeah. home. And then our last show was Cincinnati, or right outside Cincinnati, nice. technically Covington. Yeah. Heck yeah. Have you guys, i just curious to check in, have you guys been like feeling okay, doing okay in these last few weeks? Most yeah. days. Yeah, I had like, I, don't, I wonder if, I think it might have been more like about to turn 30 existential dread, but like a week ago I was like losing it. But yeah. I think it's just, I think it just comes in waves. Sometimes it's just like, it's just hard not knowing when the end is. So I think some days we do pretty well and like, we like doing our show and we go on long walks and like, you know, you just feel happy that you got a nice home and you know, you have technology to connect with people and can play music. But then, yeah, but then sometimes it's just like, it feels a little scary, but totally. I think mostly we're doing good. Awesome. Have you, uh, have you been in a creative mood as far as writing your own songs? I feel like, I, yeah, I've never been 
um, the kind of person who does like a, you know, like a, tries to write like a song a day or a song a week or anything. I've always just kind of, just it's like whenever it strikes and yeah. I think I've only written like I haven't written too much. I've been trying to be better about um, so I was a creative writing major in college. Oh, cool. And, um, which I, did you have an emphasis <laughs> or? Um, poetry. Sick. Um, uh, but I like literally. I mean, I know some people are like, but your songs are poetry. But like to me, I haven't really written poetry since I graduated from college. Mm-hmm. Like with the structure of class and stuff. Um, so I've been trying to do a little bit more just like writing in quarantine. So that's been kind of nice. Cool. Um, but I have not as many songs. But I'm not. I'm not stressed about. It. Dude, anything. I feel like any any sort of writing is. Once you do it, it feels really good. Totally, yeah. And with poetry, I that is definitely, uh, as an outsider, like I, I took one poetry writing class in college, I think, even though I was an English major, but it was all like lit, like analysis sure, yeah. stuff. But anyways, at the beginning, I like went to my professor's office and with some of my song lyrics and I was like, hey, like, what do you think of these? Like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Thinking yeah. stupidly, I was like, maybe I could just turn these in as poems for like, assignments, whatever. And he was like, well, I mean, these are like good, you know, but but that that's what made me realize, like, it's a completely different ball game as far as like writing something that's meant to be read aloud in like right. a normal meter or speaking versus yeah. in singing. You could like say the word, you know, like love and just sing it for a whole fucking hour. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. it's just one word on a page. So. <laughs> You know, it's different, but totally. different emphasis. Oh, exactly. dang. But both, That's cool. both are great. Like, I, I think because I, like, haven't really missed writing poetry because it's, like, songwriting is such a nice outlet. Yeah, totally. Especially when you have a band, you know? <laughs> totally. It's, like, a shared experience. Exactly. Oh, that's so sick. Okay. Carrie and Chris. Yes. Sean, Sean has brought up to me that there might be a rub with the game that I briefed you on, but I think there's a way. That we okay. could do this. Everyone in the chat, we had such a good time last week playing this game. We're going to do it again. For one night and one night only. <laughs> this game is called From Memory, Memory, Memory. I don't think the thing is there. <laughs> okay, yeah. Anyways, I don't have the title um, screen. So, sorry. this game is really simple. It sounds as confetti, someone. Though. Confetti's good. Confetti yeah, throw in lots of confetti. So, as someone personally, me, I cannot draw. I suck at drawing. So, this game, I had a bit of foreboding when someone told me about it. But. It turns out anyone can draw a really shitty cartoon in a minute and a half. So that's that's where the fun comes in. Do you guys have a favorite cartoon? I was just curious as well. I mean, we've discussed this, Julia, but I do think SpongeBob is probably <laughs> we did Amazing. top tier. One hundred percent. We drew Squidward last week, and it was fucked up. It was great. <laughs> Okay, so Sean, what I'm thinking is yes. during the minute and a half countdown, maybe switch back to the screen yeah. where you can't see Carrie and Chris Perfect. just for that minute and a half. Sounds great. And then we'll reveal. And we'll all come back. We'll all come back right. together and we will show what Marcus we've done. Marcus is going to draw. Marcus is going to draw well, too. So We're all going to draw. Do you want to get over there or do you want to stay over here? Okay. You guys, <laughs> we, need, we need the Sorry. chat to just throw out, throw out anything. This throw is out uh, one cartoon character. Yeah, there's, so there's we, more notebooks to the if left. If the chat could give us some uh, some cartoon characters, it would be on great. On the wire oh, yeah, rack. that box on right my rack. Right Just right there, yeah. Just, there you go. All oh, right, yeah. chat, we need suggestions. Whose line style? Sean's Drew Carey. Uh, people want Ren or Stimpy. Uh, That's hard. I don't <laughs> even remember what they look like. Ren or Stimpy. <laughs> That's why I think it'll be I great. need a more mainstream <laughs> cartoon. I can do Ren and Stimpy. Give oh, me I'm, mainstream. Oh, I love that. Wait, do you guys uh, want to do Ren Stimpy? Sorry, I don't know what they look like. You can do more than one. <laughs> I don't really know. Okay, is that a bad one? We can, here, here's that's a new too, one. We'll, we're gonna do, we're going to do Jimmy Neutron. Jimmy oh. Neutron. Do you guys know what Jimmy Neutron looks like? Yes. I think so. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Let me get the timer prepped. <laughs> so oh, sorry. I you gotta wait for Mark. Oh, it's okay. Mark Jimmy Neutron. I just remember just pick any the point. hair. Yeah, I probably would. Okay. Timer. We're gonna. The, we found that the sweet spot. Oh, that's a white. <laughs> the sweet spot is a minute and a half. I got the timer prepped, you guys. Okay. Is everyone ready in the chat? Does everyone have their paper and pen? Like I said last time, play along with us, and then we can all 
Share our beautiful creations. James okay. James Neutron. James Isaac Neutron. All right. When you you count down, I'm okay. going to switch over to the main screen. So you're going to go back to the Art Institute. Perfect. And we'll all come back. We'll draw on the Art Institute. This is so apropos. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one. Go. Widow's Peak? I don't know. Oh, yeah. He has, like, really big hair. Okay. He wears a t-shirt, if I recall, with a big star. Star. I think it's an atom. Oh well, I drew, I drew a really freaky star. Yes, perfect, Sean. Perfect. <laughs> that took me so long to get that to work. Ah, <laughs> uh, it it's looking pretty, pretty good. Okay. <laughs> five five seconds. Five seconds. You gotta keep his, put his catchphrase in. Okay. Okay. Stop. Pens down. All right. Pens <laughs> oh down. Okay, everyone. <laughs> Time to reveal our best. Um, oh, Dave. Dave, you're good at this. Okay. <laughs> my eyes froze again. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's oh. that's okay. I think it's our internet's pretty bad. Yeah, I think but. our internet is kind of bad. All right. Oh. Bad Bad Hats, can you hear us? Yes. Okay. Yes. Unfortunately, you are frozen. But <laughs> oh, <laughs> whatever no. you did, is there a way to okay. unfreeze? I'll try uh, again. I think it just okay, thanks. Time. Sorry, Chris. In the meantime, let's oh, cup, yes. let's uh, reveal. Who wants to go first? Um, Jules, you go first. Me? Yes. All right, everybody. Can everyone? Are we still on? Okay. Here we go. Here's Jimmy. <laughs> What do you guys think? Good. I think I got the hair pretty good. I think it's kind of like Dr. Seuss. Can you guys see this, Bad Bad Hats? Are you watching on your phone? We're, yeah, asking, we're, we're asking so much of you. You're about to reveal it. Here I am. It's Yeah, there's a delay oh. on Twitch. <laughs> yes. See, the hair. I think I got the height of the hair, right? Hey, brain bust. Brain blast. <laughs> brain blast. That's his signature brain phrase. Blast. That's his signature <laughs> I think... <movie>. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I tried, but I didn't quite get his uh, his vibe right. I don't know. That's how I feel. Yeah, it's hard, right? Okay, Marcus, okay. show us. Here's my Jimmy Neutron. Oh, good! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, looking yes. good. <laughs> Keep holding he it. He looks uh, haunted. A little closer, maybe. Yes. I, uh, I didn't really watch that much Jimmy Neutron. Oh, you guys are back. Thanks. <laughs> but I remembered his smile. Oh, uh, <laughs> Jimmy Neutron is a happy dude because he's yeah. so smart. He's he's a genius. Right. Okay, very good, Marcus. So, let's do Carrie and Chris. Yeah, Carrie and Chris, do you guys want to show? Do you want to show us what you've done? All right. You might have to duck. You're pretty good, Chris. That's good. good. Wow. That's wow. <laughs> See his hair. That's the move. Julie got duck. Oh, I'm there sorry. Sorry. I can't see where I am. Oh. All right. Kinda. Beautiful. <laughs> A plus. I think my I just the face. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's like <laughs> that's, that's like hot Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> He's got like a swoop. Chad Neutron. Damn, beautiful. You guys, see that's such a spirited drawing. All right, Dave, best for last. Friggin' show us up. Very good, Dave. Wow, okay, Dave. <laughs> the ice cream swoop is the crucial. I think that's his main uh, takeaway. All right. I think rad is his catchphrase, too, not brain blast. Brain blast. Brain blast. Wow, I think we all did oh, God, really good. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's in. Brain blast. 
Okay. Uh, Someone said Jock Jimmy. Jock Jimmy, yeah, exactly. He's like... He developed his own stereotype. I asked, I asked the chat who won, uh-huh. and the first response was just Marcus loses. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Marcus wins loses. I don't know what that means, okay. but there are different yeah. awards. It's there's not a single winner. There's like, you know, d- ex- there's like superlatives. Okay, of, of every here's type. A, here's a superlative. Like Dave wins good. overall, but Julia gets most improved. Oh thanks, guys. Oh, nice. I've been practicing all week for this. Just joking. You know when they, um, you know, sometimes different cartoons do like episodes with guest animators. Oh yeah. That's yeah. what I feel like. All these drawings kind of covered a <laughs> yeah. Jimmy Neutron guest episode. It's like, I haven't wa- well, we haven't watched Jimmy Neutron in so long. What do we remember from the show? You know, what you sticks? Movie, like two weeks. Ago. I did watch the movie a couple weeks ago. It's pretty good. Have not, you guys heard not great. Uh, have you guys heard about that version of Shrek that like a hundred different animators made? Oh, no. Yeah. They each did like four seconds or something and then put it together. Who remembers yeah. that? Dude, is that online? Yeah, I think it's just free on YouTube somewhere. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that actually that ties in really well to something that I've been brewing in my head. Um, that we're actually planning for next week. Shrek is, I feel like, very relevant in our culture still and i want to explore Shrek. so what? they want one more cartoon character yeah i was gonna say done. if you got karen and chris you guys if down, you guys one have more? another round in you you got another and round in you playing off that the chat resoundingly wants to see shrek drawn yeah. great great yeah. idea guys okay hold on let me get the timer this is gonna be <laughs> crazy gonna be yeah Shrek is, he's got a vibe that we can all easily capture, I think. We know Shrek. Shrek knows us. Okay, you got Everyone ready? Everyone have what they need? Yes. Okay, three, two, one, go. Go. Okay. I got the squeaky marker, if anyone's wondering. Okay, I'm trying to get Shrek's anger, but I don't think I've done it quite right. Ten more seconds. Hey, do one more. Ten more seconds. <laughs> I'm still trying to find this stuff. Oh no. Okay, stop. Stop. No more drawing. I think all we all done. got the right catchphrase. <laughs> uh, yeah, we all choose catchphrase. Okay. <laughs> Get out of my swamp, donkey. Okay. <laughs> Okay, who, maybe we should switch up the order this time. All right. Um, Let's get, oh, sweet. Y'all are back. Let me Carrie go Carrie and Chris. Oh, Dave's going first? Okay. Very right. good. <laughs> good. Okay, Dave, show us. My greatest trick. Wow. Oh, okay. Oh, the suspenders are clutch. Yes, I tried to get Donkey. his brokenness. <laughs> Donkey. Do you guys see it, Carrie and Chris? Not yet. Not yet. It's coming. Sorry, there's such a lag <laughs> on Twitch. We just, can't wait. Oh, it's coming. Please leave it up. Leave it up there, Dave. Oh, oh. <laughs> trick. Nailed the head shape. He looks pissed. The bridges. That's <laughs> Very good. Okay. Uh, should we just go down the line? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Okay. Here's mine, guys. Get ready. It's really good. Wow. <laughs> I like 
like how his shirt is ripped. I tried to draw his like strange leather vest, but I didn't. I ran out of time. The, I couldn't quite get all the detail. Good, yeah. yeah, I gave him a double chin. I gave him some weird teeth. I tried to get capture his anger, but it didn't <laughs> oh, really yeah. work. That's okay. Oh yeah. All right, Marcus. Okay, yes, ready? Marcus. Headshot. Here's mine. I just got his head. I started writing the word donkey, but I didn't finish in time. So it looks like Donny. Donny. Uh, Donny. Yeah, that's my Shrek. Damn. Good shit, man. That, that could be an emote. That could be that an emote. It's beautiful. I love his wide nose. Yeah. Yes. All, right. All right. Carrie and Chris. Want to go? Show sure. us your Shreks. I think everyone's capturing the anger, but I went, I went in a, a happier <laughs> oh, I love it. That's Shrek post-wedding. That's, that's honeymoon Shrek right there. Honeymoon. Yeah, that's cool. Oh. Sure. Chris is... All right. It's a little shorter. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That is a tough call. Who yeah. wins? That really does look like Doodle Bob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Doodle oh, Bob version of I Shrek. Yeah. Oh really my cool. god. That is so good. All right. I All think right. Carrie and Chris are tied in the lead for me. Personally. <laughs> Thank you. Because it's, it's, it's the two different like emotional poles of Shrek. He's either so pissed or he's like blissed out. <laughs> yeah. At least yeah. that's what I recall. Oh, there he is! Uh, Sean loaded. Sean loaded a terrifying mashup of Shrek and Mike Wazowski to the street. <laughs> that is excellent. What a beautiful! I almost said elegant. That it's an would elegant not make sense. Up. Wow. Okay. It's soon, nice. soon that will be showing up on on your uh, end. Yeah, okay. yeah we, we will scan and compile. All yes, these we will scan and compile every image. Karen, Chris, if you feel compelled, I can bug you about send it. But over. send them on over, and we'll put them. Maybe we'll just create some sort of like very simple website, and just put all of these on a page. <laughs> Angel yeah, like try to make it just as what's it called? Aim? 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 Zanga. 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 That would be good. SQL. Quite good. Wow. This I just think this game is stimulating. It's nice. I love it. It's I find, like yes, flexing muscles I didn't even know I had. Exactly. Crazy shit. Okay. I'm gonna get into you guys, <laughs> Carrie and Chris, I don't know if you guys want to stay on the line for this. Uh, I don't know if you'd feel awkward watching us play a song, but after yesterday's stream, so I don't know. Do you guys want to chill and watch us play this cover? Yeah, we're yeah, chilling. We're okay, okay. I don't want to force you, but I will say, <laughs> after yesterday, I felt so inspired by your stream, by the music of the early 2000s. Yeah, a great it's era. A great era. Formative for yeah. me and you i'm just a couple years younger than you but i will say there was one band that i feel like shaped me and is so underrated in my opinion yeah they're a big band okay do you know where i'm going with this they're from well, across the pond i well i'm wondering because i did see that you had a request and i'm wondering if it's what oh it's it's not that one it's not even that one i should have i should have uh requested what i'm thinking right now but i didn't even think of it is this the spice girls is it's that not what spice you're? girls okay. although you all did the spice girls yesterday and that was excellent Thank you. <laughs> Might some shaker on this one oh yeah shaker for sure on this marcus okay you guys um let me get tuned up and then we'll do it chris i don't know yeah. oh you'll know soon oh maybe i have a guess but I'm not gonna say, I want to be surprised. Okay, I got the lyrics ready. Oh, yeah, yeah. Should we start it? Yeah, I just want to take a sip of water. Because uh, this is tough, because there's a lot of people in this band, but I'm going to sing all the parts. <laughs> Seven parts, and I'm going to sing them all. Okay. okay. Ready? Yes. Here we go. When, oh, it's counted out. One, two, three, four. Bring it on back now, don't stop, never give up. Hold your head high and reach the top. Let the world see what you have got. Bring it on back to you. Hold on to what you try to be, your individuality. When the world is on your shoulders. Smile and let it go. 
That song is on is so yeah. good. Does that one have um, never had a dream come true on as well? I think that might have actually been. We, I don't remember. It's they only have two albums. It's either that one or the next. Okay. One. But <laughs> it close. it has this song called Two in a Million. Do you guys know that oh. song? Dude, it's like a, we are two in a million. We got our yeah dude i wanted to cover that one too but dave said we can't do two s club seven songs oh. in one day maybe next week um this bond with s club i have yeah dave has no context dave has no cable s club transcended borders tv well, restrictions very, like, uh, it was like the, the monkeys right because so it was like a tv show yes, yes. and there yeah, they were, like, working in a shitty motel. <laughs> oh, I forgot. And they would be like, oh, I'm sick of cleaning. And then they'd be like, yeah, let's sing a song. And they'd, like, get together and sing. Sounds kind of like Drake and Josh. Sick. Drake and Josh-esque, for sure. Oh, that was, like, the era of television when I was also watching. Did you ever watch that show, The Great Pretenders, where they had, like, children, like, lip-sync covers? I've never heard of that. That sounds <laughs> awesome, though. It was great. Sick. And it- me want, I really wanted to be on the show. You, see, you didn't actually have to play any instruments. You just had to dress up and do a really good rendition of the lip sync of a popular song, which I was doing anyway. 
in my free time. So you are perfect. Yeah, you were qualified. <laughs> really quick, I just want to ask you one other question, just because I'm curious. Were you into Mary Kate and Ashley? So I yes. Now I wasn't like um, I don't know what level fan I was, but yeah. I had um, a few like it, they they're, they're like mystery. Series. Yes. I had like some of those VHS tapes, and then I really liked. I had their like Halloween movie, Double Trouble, wait, Double Double Toil and Trouble. Yes. Fuck and yeah. uh, oh, and I was obsessed with the um, It Takes Two that movie. Oh, fuck yeah! Is that that's the one with Kirstie Alley, right? Yeah, exactly. Love it. I I it's so weird. You know how there are things for, like from your childhood that you just remember so extremely. Yeah. And one of them for me is their like party videos that like song that they did at the beginning it's like we're calling everyone we're putting out the welcome mat i got the tunes i got the shoes we got the party hats i remember every fucking word to that and it's like there's probably important information that i've lost but those oh, yeah. those brain cells are still dedicated to i mean that was the old twins this entire our entire live stream this week it was like i'm gonna have no problem with the lyrics <laughs> it's so awesome it's in there i love that Man, it's, I really appreciate the job that you guys are doing with the live stream. It, anyone in the chat who doesn't know, look up Bad Bad Hats on YouTube. They do the live stream every Saturday at 4 on YouTube. And it's just, it's been a balm of comfort for me. And yeah, we just, we love and support and respect what you guys are doing. Especially this week, it was lit. It was so dope. Thank you. Um, you guys are doing awesome here on Twitch, too. <laughs> Thanks. It's fun to just, you know, just do stuff while yeah. we're all home. It is. <laughs> and so I'm glad that there are people, you know, I'm glad that everyone out there is watching and enjoying, because I know we really enjoy it, so we're glad that, you know, there there's an audience that's enjoying it too. Hell yeah. That's good shit. We're all just, we're all in this together and Absolutely. it feels, yeah, it feels good to all be hanging out. Yeah, yeah. thanks. Thanks so much for joining us, y'all. Oh, yeah, we <laughs> really appreciate you guys. I'm saying bye. Oh, there's Dave, too. Oh, Marcus yeah, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, t- we'll hope to talk to you guys soon. Yeah, thank you Oh, yeah. All. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you on, we'll be watching on the YouTubes. Great. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be following you. <laughs> okay, sick. See we'll talk to you guys week. soon. Bye, friends. Guys. Okay, see y'all. Thanks for being here. Bye. Uh, We're back. back We're back in the Art Institute. We didn't even, we had a whole other exhibit prepped. And the outside, we didn't even use it. No, I could spend. The I Art Institute spend, is like, a big place. Can you just flash it, just okay. since I put it in there? The contemporary exhibit. Uh, Those paintings are just like straight up bars of color. And they're in the. Yeah, let's go outside. I just want to show you guys the lions outside. Okay, this is 2020 in a picture. We got our statues, we got our masks. This is a. Flashpoint of controversy outside the audience. <laughs> now our statues are wearing masks. What the fuck? Oh I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is stupid. Um. Anyways, this has been so much fun. Bad bad hats are the fucking best. I feel like I could talk. I would just want to bug them and talk to them for hours because I have like just everything that I would yeah. love to pick their They're brains the greatest. about. But great band. Please go support them on Bandcamp and mm-hmm. please uh, subscribe to them on YouTube. And um, I think that's pretty much it from us. We, like I said, are working on some really cool stuff behind the scenes. We're gonna, we're hitting the studio next month to record. I'm not gonna give it away. We're just going there. We're just gonna go there and see. I don't know. We'll just go to the studio. You can just go. It's fine. Um, no, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not done looking at painting. <laughs> We're going to live in the Art Institute. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been really fun. I'm probably going to play that S Club 7 song every day for the rest of my life now that I know that it's just a few chords. And um, we'll see you guys. Uh, we'll be back next week on the Twitch at least once. Maybe we'll do some video games too. Who knows? Oh, yeah. You got anything you want to say before we leave, Sean? I'll let the B-52s say it for me. (laughs) Perfect.